I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMAR2 News update. Here at WMAR2 News, we are the voice for veterans. Our Aaron McPherson introduces us to a disabled Air Force vet who finally got some help after trying for years. An American flag waves outside of a Moncton home. Inside, an Air Force veteran. And I stayed 20 years. I stayed. I retired and they diagnosed me with breast cancer in 92. She's cancer free now, but has a lot of other health issues. Just in and out of the hospital. I had memory loss, but they call it some word that long. She has diabetes. She's lost her half of one foot. Um, she's lost toes. She's got kidney failure. She's had cancer. She can't do for herself. She has some memory loss. And we try to do as much as we can, but we have families too that we have to do, take care of. Ann Baysmore is Joyce's older sister. She called WMAR 2 News for help. She wasn't as bad as she is now. She could walk a little bit without the walker, but with a cane. Now she's dependent on this walker, the wheelchair. She just, she can't walk. I stay in the house now. I don't even bother to go out there. But I need to get my bathroom and my furnace. Her bathroom isn't handicap accessible, and her heating and air conditioning unit broke a few years ago. She's been using window AC units in the summer, and in the winter, she relies on her oven and space heaters to stay warm. After seeing her setup and going through some of her paperwork, I reached out to VA Healthcare. They immediately put a social worker on the case. They're working with her to get a home improvement grant to hopefully make her bathroom handicap accessible. They're also supplying home help. As for the heat, HGH Mechanical in Edgewood installed a brand new system for free. We just decided it's something we had to do. The owner of HGH Mechanical got the equipment donated. Duckworks in Edgemere supplied sheet metal and Ferguson Enterprises donated the HVAC system. It was really a no-brainer to donate the equipment. Later this month, her air ducts are going to be cleaned by ducts of the Upper Bay region. You're really talking about an indoor air quality issue. You're, you're living with 30, 40, 50 years of accumulated dust in the system. And there's allergens, contaminants, allergens, skin flakes, fat danders, you name it. It's, the, it's, it's in that system. There's a piece of ductwork here you can take a look at and say, oh, that's, that's in there. Yep, it is. And we'll give you to get all that out. Joyce was unfortunately in the hospital when the new system was installed. But Ann and the rest of the family are extremely grateful. I'm overjoyed. <laughs> um, I know she'll be happy when she comes home from the hospital. I, I couldn't be more appreciative. I, I just can't, I'm overwhelmed. I just can't explain how grateful I am. Joyce is out of the hospital, but now she's in an acute care center. But hopefully she'll be able to go home soon. For WMAR 2 News, I'm Erin McPherson. All right, thanks, Erin. Stick with us online for updates on top stories and breaking news. And also for news and weather while you're on the go, download that WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar. And you can also get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.